Hi you guys and welcome back for another video. Um, today I am coming on to share my hack. What I did anyway, not, I don't think it's a hack, but what I did. And what I did was I took, oh, hopefully you can see, I'm trying to get in there. Um, I took a Filofax personal croc, compact size, personal croc, compact size. And I removed the rings and was able to get my Jaboon Techo and the other two books to fit in here. Now I considered ordering a VDS custom croc in black. And I remember I had this and I said, well, it's gonna be something similar to this size. So why don't I go ahead and try it out and see if I actually like it before I even consider committing to it because right off the top, that's gonna be probably a $300 cover. Why so pricey? Because it's a custom cover. So you pay for what you get. So if you want to stick around and see Actually, I'm not, I don't have any video of me de-ringing it, but I'll show you and tell you the steps that I went through to do it. And it will suffer some minor damage when you take them out. This particular croc style, there's no way to remove the rings that I know of without leaving a little bit of damage. So stick around and I'll show you the rest of it. First off, like I said, you will suffer some damage when you remove your rings. This is again a Filofax personal compact size in the chestnut croc. It did originally come with rings and I believe the rings were like either 15 or 16 millimeters which they um, tell you on the website. So if you look it up on uh, Filofax website or even Amazon.com, it'll show you. So I currently house my Jaboon Techo B6 Slim with my life book, my diary book, and my idea book all inside. I have my stencils here in the back. Another thing is I removed the pen loop out of here. You don't necessarily have to, but the pen loops on the Filofaxes are sewn, I don't know if you'll be able to see it, I'll try to zoom in, but they're sewn on the outside so they fold in. Gilios are sewn on the inside so they fold out. So does VDS, which is Vanderspeck, and I believe Louis Vuitton does that as well. So it may be the luxury brands that sew on the inside and it folds out, and then the lower end brands sew on the outside because this is actually sewed into the seam. Whereas the Giglio is not sewn into the seam, it's actually sewn separate. And I believe that's the same way with Vanderspecks. So anyway, let me go ahead and take all my stuff out. So this video doesn't be, so this video isn't too long. And then of course, they have the back pocket as well. I do like the back pocket. So I'm trying to see how much I'm gonna use it if I decide to go ahead and order a custom from Vanderspeck. So, another thing I had to do was I had to cut, I can't see them out of frame, I had to cut and round the corners because on the file effects, as you can see, hopefully you can see, their corners are rounded versus something like Giglio and a Vanderspeck where their corners are straight across. 
even with Vanderspeck, if you have a back pocket or you don't have a back pocket, it's still straight across. So you won't have to cut your books. I did not have to cut, or did I cut? Okay, my idea book, I actually didn't have to cut. So it's still intact. I keep coming out of frame, I'm sorry. So that's still intact. And of course my diary. I cut both the front, see right there, and the back, right here. In addition to cutting about an inch off each side. So, and because I cut off the pen loop, the, the, the pen loop, what I do is I use now, this is a Senti, is it a Senti? Yeah, a Senti Soft Highlighter by Monami. It's not a mild liner. Well, it is, I guess, in the sense of the coloring because um, it's a soft gray liner. But it has a clip and it only has one side. And I actually like that. Yeah, it's only have one side. I don't think it has two. And then my friction, which I'm so glad I can go back to using. This won't focus. I bet you won't focus. Come on. Okay. It's a friction four. And the colors I have in it is uh, black. This is blue stem, but I have purple ink in here. And the reason is I have a whole like um, a whole collection of the Friction .38 Slim Balls pens and they're interchangeable. So the ones that actually come with this pen have a black tip here, whereas the other ones, the single ones have white, but they fit just the same. So as you can see, I have purple, green, red, and black. Sorry, that's my sister's dog. As you can see, my baby is right here, relaxing. He's so cute. Anyway, so in the file effects as well, you have the inner pocket and an out pocket. So you have two pockets. Now before, this is where the rings were. This is where the ring, I don't know if you can see that. This is where the rings were. To get the rings out, I had to make a cut. Can you see that? I made a cut here in the top so that I could pull the rings out. I did not have to cut in the bottom. I did have to do this top here and I cut right in here and I took a screwdriver to like pry up the glue that was in there and I was able to pull it out. And that's why I say you do suffer a little bit of damage in there, but you can't even see it because it's on the inside pocket. And the other thing I said, I cut off the pen loop. And I cut off the pen loop because it's sewn on the outside and it goes on the inside. So with the books in there, it just was in the way. So that's how I converted this to work with my Jaboon Touch Out. Thank you for watching. Please comment, like, and subscribe. And don't forget to share it because it might be someone else out there that's wanting to know how they could possibly use this if they have a Jaboon or a B6 Slim or Travelers and they have these laying around. Because I'm sure there are quite a few people who have stuff just lying around. So make use of it save yourself some money and that's it see you guys later bye